Good morning, everybody. How you doing today? My name's Andrew. I'm Kathy. And we're some of the Veggie Boys. And girls. And we'd like to thank you for stopping by. Welcome back everyone. We are here at the farm getting started on morning chores. The first thing we're going to be working on is dealing with the calves. I just came over here to clear out their buckets so that we can get their milk dumped in. I wanted to come over early, make sure nobody was out of their pens because when they are out of their pens, oh, it makes this job so much more difficult. And I kind of forgot where I put my milk bucket last night, but I see it now. Excuse me, coming through. calves are all taken care of. We also did a little bit of cleaning up before we left. I had been just taking those bags and setting them there and originally it was going pretty well and then I started having too many so I wanted to do a little cleaning up. So the only things left to do with the animals are get the chickens all taken care of and the rest of the cattle. But with the cattle I have a little bit of an extra job today. It is pretty exciting but we'll get to that later on. We're gonna work on the chickens for now. Eggs are now gathered for the day. Chickens are all taken care of. Chickens are now all taken care of. We're gonna be moving on to our next job, which involves the cattle. And uh, let me just say this job has been months in the making. We've waited a long time to do this. All right, so this is some silage that we had harvested a while ago uh, we had put it into these bags we had our first bag on the outside that has reached the end of its time uh, the silage at the end was starting to spoil a little bit so I didn't want to feed it anymore um, so we're gonna be opening a new bag which is really really exciting we still have one more bag all the way at the uh, other side of the parking lot so this is not the last of our feed. I mean, there's still plenty of feed here, but we'll be able to move right over there once we're finished. But I wanted to get this opened up and get this all cleaned up so that it makes it a lot easier on me to grab feed for the cattle. And I have to clean up that older silage and the rest of the bag that we have up there. Well, that stuff looks good. And that smells good. Woo! Now when we had originally harvested the silage, there was a few things that we were looking for. The number one thing is that we had plenty of cracked 
or crushed kernels. That releases a lot of the nutrients that these cattle need. There's plenty of nutrients in the stock and with other things, but the most important thing is that these kernels are crushed, releasing all of that nutrients. Now, sometimes when the cattle are eating, they can crush the kernels themselves, but you kind of want to make sure that they get crushed nonetheless to release that uh, energy, to release those vitamins. So that's why it's so important. And I think this stuff looks beautiful. The cattle are going to go crazy over this. a big job accomplished this morning. I also spent some time cleaning it up. I did have some silage that still looked pretty good. So I fed that to the cattle, but the rest of it, I put it on the pile. We're gonna spread it with the manure spreader later on. I would like to say that this was me. I drove into the wheelbarrow and knocked it over and spilled the grain everywhere, but it wasn't me. I was watching one of the calves got out, was really excited and just went over and pushed it over and started eating the grain. I'm gonna have to talk to that calf. I'm gonna have to say, hey, not again. I'm getting a call from Daniel. I'm doing good. Your cows are good. Hold on, I'll show you them in a minute. I am on a phone call with Daniel right now. You can see him right there. Say hi, Daniel. How's it feel down there? Is it nice and warm? He said it's humid. I have them in my ear, but he said it's humid. Yeah, I'm feeding your cows for you, Daniel. He legitimately just called me so that he could see his cows. That's how you know Daniel is missing his animals. Daniel and I have been playing phone tag for the past couple days. He's been wanting to talk to Callie, and every time he's been called, I've either been here or Callie's been asleep. He's gotta, he gotta remember her schedule. I mean, he just, he forgets. But it's nice to know that they miss me. My dad calls me, Daniel calls me. The only one that doesn't call me is Matthew. I have to call Matthew, but it's okay. They're on vacation, they're having fun. I'll tell you what, when the cattle do not have their heads stuck in these gates, these things are pretty nice. I repeat, when their heads are not stuck in them. Something I've noticed from talking to the family, whether it's dad, Daniel, or Matthew, they do miss the farm. In the beginning of the week where it was so cold, I don't think they were missing the farm as much, but now that they see the temperatures I'm dealing with, I mean, I'm like on vacation here. It's so nice out. I'm just glad the family has been able to enjoy themselves and relax a little bit. My dad's gonna be home relatively soon. I believe tomorrow evening, he's going to be making it home. He said late, so he's gonna have a long night of driving. Um, but maybe Sunday morning he'll be helping me with the animals if he can wake up. You know, he might still be in vacation mode, so we'll have to just wait and see. Before this morning, animals are all taken care of, my jobs are done. Only thing left to do is check on Grammy and then go home and check on my girls. You can see it looks a little bit different up here now. I got the rest of that bag all cleaned up. I got that silage all cleaned up. So now we're just moving on to our next bag. Uh-oh, they have all this stuff on the table. What have you been doing today? Cleaning. Oh my goodness. I just came up to check on you. What are you having for lunch today? I don't know. Ooh, 
it's going to be a mystery. I think salad. Oh, how were your crab legs last night? Oh, yeah. Oh, good, 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 good. I spent a good amount of time with Grammy. We were just talking about her day and what she has got planned. She's taking it easy, which is good. I think her vacation ends in a few days when dad gets home. That's what she told me. My vacation's when everybody else goes away. I said, but I never left, so you never got a vacation this year. She said I didn't bother her too much, so it was okay. Which is what you like to hear. You like to know that you're not bothering your grandma. But now it is time for me to head home. I'm gonna make some lunch. I'm gonna spend some time with Callie. And if I have nothing going on, I might go fishing. <laughs> we'll just have to wait and see because there's always stuff to do. But it's a beautiful day out. Well, everyone, we have made it back to the farm. Uh, had a delicious lunch with the family. I uh, did not get a chance to go fishing because, well, there's always plenty to do at the house. So I was working on some things. We had a good afternoon so far, but it's about that time of the day where the animals need to be taken care of. Now there's not too much that needs to be done besides feeding, but there are a few things that I'm gonna need to accomplish tomorrow. Getting that silage bag opened up and all that cleaned up over there was a big job and I'm happy I was able to finish it today, but we are running out of feed inside the cafeteria. So I cleaned up those bags this morning trying to make it look a little nicer and you may have noticed that there was only one left. So what we're gonna have to do is take more bags of feed over and load them into there. Uh, I could use the entire pallet and just take the pallet over but I think it's a little too heavy for the skid steer loader and I don't wanna do that with the forklift with how sloppy it is, I'm worried I'll get stuck. So some of you may be thinking, well then what are your options that you have? How are you gonna get all the bags over? Because as you can see, we have got plenty here. They're just in this storage area. So what I'm probably gonna end up doing is bringing the skid steer loader over and loading about 10 or 15 bags in the bucket and just taking them over that way. And then once I have all the bags over there, that pallet's just sitting there, I can just stack them all on top and it'll be, whatever I need it to be. I won't have to worry about anything. I won't have to worry about getting that forklift stuck because if I got that forklift stuck, whoo, I would be in trouble. What's interesting and I think important to mention is that just a few days ago, I was dealing with temperatures that dipped down into the single digits and real feels that dipped down into the negatives. Today, however, the weather has done a complete 180 and I am dealing with temperatures just peaking into the 60s. Can you believe that? It's, whew, this is how you get sick. It is not easy to adjust to all these temperature changes, so we just gotta take care of ourselves. That's, it's just a big change. <laughs> there you go, buddy. Over there. Right here, there you go. Front legs, get your front, come here. it up for the calves only thing left would be the rest of the cattle which take no time at all we just get that grain dumped in and we're good to go now I just thought I'd mention something you guys heard earlier on that I was thinking about going fishing and uh, some of you might be thinking well Angie you never told us uh, you were this big fisherman you never told us that you were into fishing and the truth of the matter is I never really was into fishing uh, recently we've been watching some videos at home mainly because Callie wanted to watch them and we've been watching people do some fishing, going on fishing trips. And wouldn't you know it, this is something that Callie apparently really liked watching. So we've been watching all these videos about fishing and now she wants to go fishing. She likes fishing so much that she goes around the house uh, pretending to fish with anything she can find. And it's always funny as she'll cast, she'll go, oh, oh, reel it in and immediately grab the fish and then eat it. Because the people that we watch, they catch the fish and then they cook it and eat it. And it's just funny because Callie, every single time she catches a fish, she'll go, oh, good fish or oh, bad fish and then throw it away. When we were younger, we used to go fishing quite often and we had the two ponds. Then we have the creek that runs through our property. So 
I mean, we could have always gone fishing, but it just wasn't something that stuck with me. I never really was into fishing. But now I was talking with Warren and we both kind of agreed, I need to figure out what I'm doing so I can teach Callie how to fish. So yeah, on top of everything else that we've got going on, I'm trying to become a fisherman so I can teach Callie what to do. I don't know, I'm gonna have to watch some videos and figure it out. Cause she wants to catch them and then cook them and eat them. She's two and a half years old and she's catching, cooking fish every single day in the living room. What I'm concerned with though is, it doesn't matter if it's a good fish or a bad fish, she's eating it. She's eating the bad fish then throwing them away. So I, I don't understand what that means, but we'll have to get that figured out. You can hear that? It's nice and quiet. All the cattle are enjoying their food. Wait a minute, it's too quiet here. Well, that, <laughs> I don't know how that happened, but <laughs> I was wondering why it was so quiet, it sounded so peaceful. Fence wasn't on. I think all the cattle are here. There's some down in the pasture, so I think we're okay. None of them figured it out. And I think that will about do it with feeding animals for the day. Yeah, it's looking good. I will tell you what, it has turned out to be a beautiful day. There still are little pockets of snow sitting here and there, but for the most part, everything is thawed out. It's nice and warm, it's not windy. It's just beautiful. Right, kitty? Tell them. Excuse me. Well, everyone, I had forgotten to end the video, so we're all sitting down eating some dinner. We got Joel and Megan over here, we got Callie. How you doing, Callie? Nah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's how we all feel. <laughs> Uh, so what we're gonna do is end the video now. I'd like to thank everyone for watching. If you'd like to see more videos like this, please check out the channel. And if you have not already, subscribe and helps us out a bunch. And uh, yeah, this is where we're gonna end the video today. So I'd like to thank everyone for watching. We hope to see you next time. Bye bye.